If you've ever tried running Windows applications on Linux and thought, yeah, this feels messy, this video is for you. Today, we're focusing on one tool that quietly fixes a lot of the pain. It's called Bottles, and on Linux Mint 22.3, it's one of the cleanest and most human ways to run Windows software. This is not a quick hack video. This is a calm, real-world walkthrough. By the end of this, you'll know exactly why Bottles exists, when it makes sense to use it, and how to run real Windows apps like Notepad++ and Foxit Reader without breaking your system or your patients. Let's start with the problem Bottles is trying to solve. Wine on its own is powerful, but it can feel rough around the edges. Different apps need different settings. One program might work perfectly while another breaks everything. You install something, it changes libraries, and suddenly an app that worked yesterday refuses to open today. Bottles fixes this by isolating everything. Think of Bottles as a manager for many Windows environments. Each app lives in its own container, its own settings, its own libraries. If one app crashes or misbehaves, it doesn't touch anything else. That alone makes Bottles worth using. On Linux Mint, Bottles installs cleanly from the Software Manager or Flatpak. Once it's installed, you open it and you're greeted with a simple idea. Create a bottle. When you create a new bottle, Bottles asks what kind of software you're running. Gaming, application, or custom. For most Windows utilities and productivity tools, you choose application. Bottles then sets sensible defaults automatically. You don't need to know what a DLL is. You don't need to touch obscure wine options. Bottles does the boring setup for you. Once the bottle is created, it becomes a clean space just for that app. Let's make this practical and real. First example, Notepad++. Notepad++ is one of those Windows tools people genuinely miss. Lightweight, fast, tabs, syntax highlighting. And even though Linux has great text editors, a lot of users still prefer this one. Inside Bottles, you open your new application bottle and choose to run an installer. You select the Notepad++ installer file, and it launches exactly like it would on Windows. Same installer, same options, same experience. You install it, you finish, and that's it. Notepad++ now shows up inside Bottles as an installed app. One click, and it launches. No terminal, no command flags, no confusion. It opens fast, feels native, and behaves exactly the way you expect. What's important here is stability. If you later install another Windows app that needs different settings, Notepad++ doesn't care. It's sealed inside its own bottle. Now, let's talk about a slightly heavier, more realistic use case, Foxit Reader. A lot of people rely on Foxit Reader for PDFs, forms, annotations, signing documents, Linux has PDF readers, but sometimes they don't match the workflow you're used to. The process in Bottles is the same. Create a new application bottle, or reuse one if you want, and run the Foxit Reader installer inside it. The installer opens normally, you go through the steps, when it finishes, Foxit Reader becomes part of that bottle. When you launch it, you'll notice something interesting. It doesn't feel like a hacked workaround. It feels like a normal desktop app. You can open PDFs, annotate them, save files, and interact with your Linux file system without thinking about Wine at all. This is where Bottles really shines. It removes that constant reminder that you're running a Windows app on Linux. You just use the software. Now, let's pause for a moment and talk about performance and reliability, because that's always the real question. For lightweight apps like Notepad++, performance is basically native. You won't notice any lag. For apps like Foxit Reader, performance is still very solid. Startup time is reasonable, scrolling and rendering are smooth, and because Bottles keeps things isolated, updates or changes don't randomly break your setup. Another underrated feature is Control. Bottles lets you tweak settings per app if you ever need to. Different wine versions, different runners, optional components. But the key thing is this, you only touch those settings if something doesn't work. Most of the time, you won't need to. That's the difference between Bottles and old-school wine setups. Bottles stays out of your way until you ask for help. So when should you use Bottles? If you're missing a specific Windows utility, 
If the app isn't available on Linux, if you want something cleaner than raw wine, Bottles is usually the first choice. It's especially good for tools, readers, editors, launchers, and older Windows software. Once you get comfortable with Bottles, that feeling of missing Windows fades fast, not because Linux copies Windows, but because you realize you're no longer locked out of anything. You choose what runs, you choose how it runs, and your system stays clean while you do it. That's the kind of freedom that makes Linux Mint feel like home.